Hello student. In this video, we will learn about the pollution of soil, radiation and noise, chapter 7 of environmental education for class 10 students. Contents, soil pollution, sources of pollution, parameters of soil quality and measures to control the pollution. Radiation pollution, sources of pollution, effects and measures to control the pollution. Noise pollution, sources of pollution, effects and measures to control the pollution. Let us learn what soil pollution is. It can be defined as the addition of any unwanted substances to the soil which affect the physical, chemical and biological properties of the soil and reduce its productivity. Sources of soil pollution, we have domestic waste. It is also known as residential waste. So the different household waste which are collected during household activities like cooking, washing, cleaning comes under domestic waste. Fertilizers and manures. Fertilizers and manures are added to the soil to increase the yield of a crop. But a component of the fertilizer kills useful bacteria and the porous nature of the soil. The presence of the salt in the fertilizer is also harmful to the productivity of the soil. Manure contains excretory products of humans and animals. This waste contains a number of pathogens or microorganisms that can cause a number of diseases which contaminate the soil and the plants. They can also cause serious health problems in men and animals. Pesticides Pesticides include a large group of chemical agents that attempts to eliminate destructive biological forces in agriculture. This include herbicides for killing unwanted plants, insecticides for killing insects, fungicide for killing fungus, and so on. While these chemicals supposedly only target specific species, but repeated use unavoidably kills microbial life that is beneficial to the soil system. Microbes that survive can be genetically altered in a way that is no longer beneficial to the soil ecosystem and can be resistant to the chemical intended to kill them. And the destruction of first leveled microbes can affect the entire soil ecosystem all the way up to the largest mammalian predators. Next, industrial waste and sludge. The incorrect way of chemical waste disposal from different types of industries can cause contamination of soil. This lead to the acidification of soil and contamination due to the disposal of industrial waste, heavy metals, toxic chemicals, damping oils and fuels, and so on. Next, water logging. Water logging occurs when there is too much water in a plant's root zone. This decreases the oxygen available to the root. It can be a major constraint to plant's growth and production, and under certain conditions, it may even lead to the plant's death. Next, e-waste or electronic waste. E-waste can have a damaging effects on the soil of a certain region where they are exposed to it. As e-waste breaks down, it releases toxic heavy metals. Such heavy metals include lead, arsenic, and cadmium, which or when this toxin leach into the soil, they influence the growth of the plants and the trees. Thus, this toxin can enter the human food supply, which can lead to bird defects, as well as a number of other health complications. So, these are some of the sources of soil pollution. Parameters of soil quality. But before we go into the parameter, let us see what soil quality is. Soil, soil quality. It is the capacity of a specific kind of soil to function within natural or managed ecosystem boundaries. 
to sustain plant and animals productivity maintain or enhance water and air quality and support human health and habitation so the parameters of soil quality we have the level of acid alkaline pH here pH refers to the potential of hydrogen hardness permeability particle size distribution moisture contained concentration of nitrogen phosphorus and potassium and biological activity controlled of soil pollution first proper disposal of agricultural and industrial waste recycling and recovery of materials minimize the manufacture and use of chemical fertilizers and pesticides practice of crop rotation and blowing of soil to allow the soil to replenish the nutrients and improve aeration porosity permeability respectively controlled soil erosion by planting of more trees so these are some of the steps to be taken up in order to control soil pollution next topic we have radiation pollution the pollution caused by x-ray cosmic rays uv rays and the rays produced by radioactive substances is called as the radiation pollution sources of pollution we have natural sources and man-made sources natural sources first we have cosmic radiation the sun and stars send a constant stream of cosmic radiation to earth differences in elevation atmospheric condition and the earth's magnetic field can change the amount of cosmic radiation that we received terrestrial radiation the earth itself is a source of terrestrial radiation radioactive materials like uranium thorium and radium exist naturally in soil and rock the dose formed the terrestrial sources varies in different parts of the world higher soil concentration of uranium and thorium generally have higher doses internal radiation all people have internal radiation mainly from radioactive potassium 40 and carbon 14 inside the body from bird man-made sources we have nuclear weapons nuclear reactor and radioisotopes used in scientific research and medicine effects uv radiation from the sun damage the eyes and cells of skin and blood capillaries causing sunburns short-term exposure to radiation from radioactive materials x-rays and cosmic rays cause burns and impaired metabolisms long-term exposure causes tumors cancer and mutations a foetus into a womb may be killed by radiation control of nuclear pollution how to control the nuclear pollution proper designing of nuclear reactors to seal off radiation provide safety kit to the workers disposal of nuclear waste in a secure manner putting a complete ban in production and development of nuclear weapon for warfare so these are some steps to be taken up to control the radiation pollution the next topic we have is noise pollution it refers to the unwanted high pitch sound that pollutes the environment or released of unwanted sound in the atmosphere a loud unpleasant sound is referred to as noise the unit of sound intensity is weimer meter to the power minus two maximum tolerable intensity of sound is 85 decibels the sound level is expressed as decibel 
small letter D and big letter B. Sources of noise pollution automobiles, airplanes, loudspeakers, industrial activity, defense activity, and other electronic mechanical devices. Community and religious activity also causes noise pollution. Effects the co It caused damage to eardrum and impairment to hearing, damage heart, liver, and brain, increased blood pressure, and constriction of blood vessels. It lead to the emotional disturbance and behavioral changes, lead to anxiety and stress. It is also responsible for increased in the consumption of alcohol, drugs, sleeping pills, and tranquilizer, and so on. Noise pollution can be controlled by setting up industries, railway stations, and aerodromes away from the residential areas, design missions with minimum sound, proper lubrication, maintenance of missions and installation of cylinders, use of sound absorbing materials, and noise protective devices. So these are some steps to control noise pollution. With this, we will end up our chapter. Thank you, students.